Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn angioedema. What is angioedema? It is the swelling in deep layers of the skin or mucosa. So mucosa is tissues that lines the internal organs and body canal. So angioedema happens or swelling happens in deep layers of the skin and in mucosal membrane. There are four types of angioedema. They are hereditary, allergic, drug induced and idiopathic what is hereditary angioedema it runs in families that is many family members may have history or episodes of angioedema it's not because of allergy that is not allergic form of angioedema it is caused by or due to the deficiency of c1 esterase inhibitor c1 esterase inhibitor is a protein present in the plasma and it regulates or controls the inflammatory process. So the deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor can lead to angioedema. Second is allergic. Allergic angioedema is due to the allergies and it can be due to medicines, certain foods, example nuts, berries, shellfish, eggs, milk, pollen, insect bites, animal dander or latex energy. Now the third is drug induced angioedema. In drug induced angioedema, angioedema related to ACE inhibitors are common. ACE inhibitors are antihypertensive medicines that ends with pril, example lisinopril. Other medicines that can cause angioedema is non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, example aspirin, ibuprofen, certain antibiotics, example penicillin and sulfa. Fourth is idiopathic, that means no specific cause, but patient has an episode of angioedema. Now let's see the pathophysiology of angioedema. So the, if there is an exposure to allergens, what happens is blood cells release histamine. So histamine, it's a vasodilator. It dilates the blood vessels. It makes the blood vessels leaky. As a result, plasma or fluid in the blood leaks into the tissues and that can cause angioedema. Now in hereditary, hereditary, there is a deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor. This is a plasma protein. Again, if there is a deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor, this protein regulates bradykinin in our body. Bradykinin are released when there's a trauma to the tissues or when there is an injury. So deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor can lead to increased bradykinin levels in our body. Again, bradykinin, it's a vasodilator. It dilates the blood vessels. It causes the blood vessels to leak. As a result, fluid or plasma in the blood leaks to the tissues that leads to angioedema. Third is ACE inhibitors. The reason we are specifically going through ACE inhibitors in drug-induced angioedema is because the pathophysiology that causes swelling in ACE inhibitors is different because of the increased bradykinin levels. Again, the angiotensin converting enzyme. This enzyme in our body can regulate the bradykinin levels. So you are giving medicines to inhibit this enzyme, to inhibit angiotensin converting enzyme. So what happens when the enzyme is inhibited, it increases the bradykinin levels in our body. So increased bradykinin in hereditary as well as in ACE inhibitor can lead to increased bradykinin and that can lead to again vasodilation, leaky blood vessels and plasma leaks into the tissues that leads to angioedema. Now let's see the signs and symptoms of angioedema. The primary symptoms are swelling. It can happen anywhere in our body, in hands, feet, lips, eyes, throat, tongue, genitals or abdominal lining. If abdominal lining is involved, patient may have nausea, pain, vomiting, diarrhea, etc. Now, if throat or larynx is involved, what happens is it can cause upper airway respiratory obstruction. Patient may have shortness of breath and it is a medical emergency because it can lead to death and immediate medical intervention is needed. In angioedema related to allergy, sometimes urticaria or hives are seen. They are skin rash and it is associated with allergic form. Now let's see the treatment of angioedema. The primary treatment are administering antihistamine. So antihistamine to prevent the histamine release, example, Benadryl. Second is steroids. Steroids, example, corticosteroid. It's because of anti-inflammatory properties. Third is epinephrine shorts or patient may carry EpiPen if they had multiple episodes of angioedema. But if due to hereditary or ACE inhibitor, remember the pathophysiology is different. It's not because of histamine, but because of the bradykine level. So the treatment for hereditary and ACE inhibitors are administration of C1 esterase inhibitor, which can reduce the bradykine level. Second is icatibet or ferasor. 
Icadiban is a bradykinin B2 receptor antagonist. Antagonist means it blocks. So this medicine block the bradykinin receptor sites. These sites are in blood vessels. So bradykinin cannot bind to the receptor or cannot bind to the receptor sites in the blood vessels. As a result, it blocks the action of bradykinin and swelling can be reduced. Third is Ecalentad. It again reduces the bradykinin level and can prevent episodes of angioedema. Now the long-term prophylaxis for hereditary angioedema is Danasol. It's an androgen or a male hormone that can increase the C1 hestrase level in hereditary angioedema and prevent the episode of angioedema. So today we learned about angioedema and thanks for watching my video.